geez, you know, if I wasn't such an idiot, I would, uh, I would clamp that thing down. Okay, so clamping this thing down clearly did help because then I was able to drill that hole through and then when I pop the rivets in there no, actually from in here, oh man, is there going to be clearance for that? Oh, look at that, there's clearance! Just barely. That'll need to bend, but... You would have thought that I would have figured that part of it out beforehand, but no. No, no. This is just... fucking around. Okay, so I've, I've decided that because we've got these... Ma this magical technology called uh, pop rivets, that I would um, actually redo all of my... Uh, fasteners from last night in pop rivets because you know I'm not going to change the design all that much um, and well at all unless I rebuild another prototype so to hell with our old our old uh, screws and whatnot I'm just going to redrill these puppies with um, after going through all that trouble of making all these lovely th threaded fittings, but you know what? It'll be better in the long run anyway. And it's a valid question. If I have this lovely, why am I not, lovely uh, press clamp, why am I not using my milling equipment to execute on all of this stuff? And, um, hmm. I don't really have a good answer to that. Probably just because it's uh, potato quality at this point, and I don't really care. But when I build the final version, oh yeah, you now we're going over to the milling tools. There's no doubt about that. And it's not like I've got heavy machinery that I'm doing. Can you see anything? My arm. There? Probably not. Anyways, okay. Pop rivet our motor mounts onto there. Pop rivet our landing gear onto there. Pop rivet the center panel onto here. Um, and I think I think we're done. Okay, back to the potato can. The uh, motors are on. Now yeah, we just need to um, do some wire routing. I don't know. Now I think I'm going to mount these guys sideways instead of underneath so that I can perhaps avoid some of the sharp edges on this thing. Although I should probably do something about that anyway. Paint some classy dip on there or something like that. Um, electrical tape for now, but anyways, yeah. There we go. Okay, so with the new ESP rubbing, it does not look like I'm going to have to do a new battery harness. I just pop that in there like that. So those go like that. Those will be easy enough. I could probably even rotate these guys around, now that I think about it. So the motors could be rotated 180 degrees, so that would put the, uh, the ESC coming out, or the uh, motor, yeah, because these aren't symmetrical. It's a uh, narrower in that dimension than that dimension, so they can only go 180 degrees. So yeah, if I flip those around, yeah, I've got plenty of room. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So, that's the new wiring harness, or uh, power distribution harness. Power goes in there, goes to the ESCs. Those are going to get routed up to the top. 
and I've got the uh, prototyping fasteners for this thing because I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I was thinking that this might become a piece to encase the uh, lithium ion in and either rib it or screw that onto the bottom of this, probably standoffs. I mean, battery will clamp into there somehow. Figure something out, but for now it's going to be zap straps. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So there, I think we've got the new the new prototype already. Uh, we've got our front of the uh, of the board here drops down the transmitter, the antenna dangles down, the uh, motors are out here. Um, I think we can just go do some calibrations and then have a nose. Maybe we can test it a bit. So I should probably be doing this outside. Um, like, duh. But, it's night time and I don't want to bug the neighbors. But, okay. Uh, turn on the transmitter this time. So that nothing terrible goes wrong. Yeah, throttle. Yeah, it is. Switch warning. Reset the switches. Okay. Arming the propellers. Oh, look at that. Disarming the propellers. Arming, disarming. I think they're rotating in the correct direction. The back two are counter rotating, the front two are counter rotating. Yeah, okay. Arming. A little more throttle. Much more stable. Hmm. Okay. Well, see what we get. definitely a heavier model. It doesn't flip over as readily, but it still has this little bit of a tendency to pitch forward. I don't know why. Hmm. Well, interesting. Adjust the trim clock a, a bit so that the pitch is lower. Arming the propellers. I really wish I had a field to do this in. I really do. Yeah, but in any event, it feels much more controllable. For some reason, I don't know why, but... Oh yeah, look at that, it almost took off. Now, now it's got a bit of a roll, uh, uh, wait, which, yeah, a bit of a roll. lot of a rule. So. Well, that's funny. Bad EEPROM data. Uh, his love obviously 
everybody likes to hunt and travel in packs. This mm. could be a problem. This is Yan Ferro on the signal. Wow. <laughs> I'm <laughs> gonna